Hi everybody and welcome back to I Love My STEM Career, a two-day event taking place uh, over this morning and tomorrow morning during the Northern Ireland Science Festival. We are highlighting STEM-focused career opportunities and pathways for teenagers and young people. So we are unbelievably on to our final guest for today. So we have got Anna Harley. Now, Anna is a process engineer at Abbott, which is a global healthcare company. More importantly, she is an ex-pupil of St. Cecilia's. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she's brought her own fan club. We've got the, the St. Cecilia massive here today. So um, do you just want to give yourself a round of applause because she's been brilliant all day with the claps. So we do have people, we do have people here live. Uh, we've got students from St. Cecilia's. They've been great all day. Uh, they've been great listening, clapping, making a, making a bit of a furore for us. So we want to give them a shout out and say a massive thank you. Um, and they've got one of their own up here now. So Anna, I want to start off just talking a wee bit about your background. Um, mechanical and manufacturing engineering. Um, you did as your degree. So how... How did you come to study that? I feel like that's a very specific engineering. You mm -hmm. know. How did you come to study that particularly? Yeah, so I think um, I probably come from a bit of a unique background where I come from quite a large family. There's eight of us, and all of us have went down the engineering route. So I'm number five, and I suppose I had that to look up to. Mm -hmm. You know, the siblings that were older than me went to study mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and chemical. And I suppose it was great to get the information off them to see, is this something that I would be interested in? I always knew that, I suppose, the subjects that I was most interested in were the kind of science, maths, technology-based subjects. Um, I always really enjoyed problem solving too. And I suppose even like the technology and design side of things, I was relatively rubbish, I would say, at the design side of things, but I still enjoy the problem solving and learning how things were manufactured, why they were done that way, and you know how things can be constantly improved. And um, yeah, I suppose that's probably why, truth be told, I was quite interested in doing structural engineering back in the day, but I don't know what actually swung it for me in the end up, um, but I went down the, the mechanical route and I'm so glad that I have, yeah. Yeah, I, f I feel like you've kind of just, you're like, right, we'll all do engineering, but we'll all do a different type of engineering. Set you know, up so a consultancy yeah, firm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a big family conglomerate, which is super cool. So, um, so for you, what is the most, I mean, I find mm. engineering really exciting. My, one of my brothers has just graduated in aerospace engineering, and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Um, like, what, what is the most exciting thing about the, the manufacturing engineering for you? Mm -hmm. So I'm a process engineer at the minute, and I'm over a process by myself. Um, and I suppose for me, what's really exciting is going to work every day and knowing that there's going to be something new to look at that day. So for example, um, I work in, in Donegal Town, and I'm not going to say we're completely remote, but last night we had a power loss. So. <laughs> You know, there was different problems there to, that you were coming up against this morning. And, um, you know, just day to day, you're going down there and I suppose it, it kind of gets you through driving, mm -hmm. you know, for that commute that, you know, you're going down there, you know, you're, you're getting something brand new to look at every day. Um, and even in terms of the project work within manufacturing, you know, you are looking at a process, you're looking to see, okay, well, how's it running? How can we make it better? Let's go and test something out. Let's do an experiment. Let's see mm -hmm. how this is working. Are we seeing an improvement? Okay, well then let's go and write up a report on this and, and implement it. And um, yeah, like that, that to me is really exciting, but I think in particular what's so nice about the industry that I'm working in is we're actually making a difference to people's lives. You yeah. know, the product that, that we are manufacturing is helping someone's life. So mm -hmm. we work in the medical, I work in the medical device industry and uh, we make, not sure if you've ever seen them before. The diabetic. Yeah, the yeah. little buttons. Um, and you know, it's just, it's incredible. Some of the staff there got to 
had the opportunity to try it out themselves. Mm -hmm. I didn't opt. I didn't opt in for it. <laughs> I'm a bit funny about that sort of sort of thing. But uh, that's incredible to know that every day you're getting up and you're making a difference to someone's mm -hmm. life. And that is amazing. Like we've we've really like a lot of our speakers today have. Everyone's been incredibly different, but everyone has kind of echoed the same sentiments. You know everyone has talked about like the human side of things and the fact that you're actually helping people mm -hmm. and also the fact that every day is different yeah and there's so many jobs where that is not the case at all but it seems to be a big factor in and technology um so would you would you kind of encourage other people into into your career path yeah definitely um as you say you know i have friends that they don't really enjoy their work and mm -hmm. they feel that it's monotonous and they're doing kind of the same thing week in, week out. Um, and I think that is what's so special. And if you enjoy, if you enjoy the problem solving side of things, if you want something exciting, if you want to know that you're at the heart of a technology that the people are using daily, globally, and it's making a difference to their life. And, you know, you don't necessarily have to go down the engineering route as well. As I said, like one of the subjects that I studied at school was uh, product design, and although you know I done really well in it, I don't I don't personally really enjoy the design side of things. I really enjoy the the data analysis and the the number crunching. But there's people there's people that I went to university with, and they were so gifted at actually designing yeah. and the whole the art side of things. You know, I'm down a very I, I find what I love, um, and I think whenever you mention STEM, people automatically think, oh, I have to be good at maths, I have to be good at science, mm -hmm. um, and of course, like, there's an element to that, and depending on what route that, that you actually go down or what pathway you want to pursue, that is the case sometimes, but there's also a whole, mm -hmm. you know, opportunity out there, like, even the items that you're wearing, like, um, the phones that you use, someone has to design them, someone has to test them. Um, your shoes, like even this chair that we're sitting on, mm -hmm. you know, there's so many factors. Um, so I, def yeah, I definitely would encourage people. And would you have, you know, because obviously your area you found what you loved <coughs> in, but it's still quite, it's quite niche. Yeah. Would you have specific advice for people to get into that um, area specifically? Like, is there you know, are there kind of specific placements you can do, specific experiences you can get, specific subjects you should do? Mm -hmm. What would you tell people? Yeah, um, I suppose if you if you wanted to go down that route of engineering, let's say, and you wanted to end up working with a global company like you know, like I am, that um, there is a lot of opportunities here. There's a lot of opportunities within the Northwest that, that people may not even necessarily think are here. And mm -hmm. if you get the opportunity to go out in particular, if you're at school, I know um, Ashley Connolly had set it up for me at the time um, to go to e &I Engineering. I was 16 and I went there for a week and I just fell in love with the place. You know, mm -hmm. I thought it was amazing getting to see things going right through the production line to going out the door. Um, that kind of sparked something in me. Um, and it tied in with, I suppose, the things that I enjoy doing. So if you know what you like doing mm -hmm. and you know what you're good at, and even if you're not good at it and you really enjoy it, then work on it, you know, work on it and, and make it happen. Um, and it's definitely worth chatting to your teachers, chatting to your career advisors in school. Um, if you know anyone, even locally, that works in companies like e &I Engineering, Seagate, I think the last lady was from Allstate, was she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, you know, awesome. and obviously I'm only chatting from an engineering perspective, but IT is massive yeah. in Derry, mm -hmm. Letterkenny. You know, there's so many it's opportunities. Huge. Yeah, so if you know anyone, um, your neighbours, cousin, mm -hmm. whoever, you know, Terry's quite a small place. Um, and you can always kind of leverage off those connections. So just ask. Um, just ask, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ask and go and see. Go and see what you think of it. You might get down there and be like, no, you know what, this is not for me. But I think even when I went to uni, you know, we, we used to go out and do like different sessions around different factories. And even then I was going around 
I was like, yeah. I'm definitely yeah, not cut out yeah, to be yeah. working with quarrying machinery. <laughs> Get me a desk. Yeah. Um, and before Abbott, um, I was in the university working, and, and before that, I worked in Seagate for a year. Uh, same thing, you know, it was a nice yep. clean room environment, and you had a nice desk. So I think one of the things that people often, often kind of think, especially you know, the younger generation too, that maybe aren't really fully aware of what what engineering is, is you tell them you're a mechanical engineer and they're like, okay, you can fix my car. Yeah. Like, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no thank you. Can't even fill up my washers. <laughs> um, what, what about, um, I, I know, is it the Miss Connery that we have here? It is, yeah. We had a shout out to Miss Connery. Mm -hmm. This is your uh, round of applause, please, for the legend. <laughs> <laughs> This, 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 whole, this whole talk is because of Miss Connolly. Um, so I just want to finish up because we're about to wrap up, but I want you to tell me, you know, your passion for your career is coming through, but what is the, the main thing, the last panel of the day, the main thing that you love about your career? Yeah, um, I suppose for me, I'm a massive advocate for women in STEM. I'm the site co-lead at the minute for ADC Donegal for women in STEM, I've just founded the group down there with another lady. Um, and I think for me, you know, getting out there, getting to be part of something that was always kind of viewed as being male dominated and getting to break down that gender barrier and getting Anna out there as, you know, I can, I can do what everyone else can, can mm. do. Um, but I think overall, the one thing they kind of get you up and going in the morning and makes makes it all worth it is you know that you enjoy what you're doing. You're making a difference every day to your own life. You know, professionally, you're developing every day. Um, but the whole side of you're working, you're working in a in a sector, let's say, that, that is improving people's lives, yeah. That, yeah. that for me is... That's the, important the most part. important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the the human aspect, which mm -hmm. we've kind of seen through the day, which is, which is not usually. I don't know if you're not in that career. I don't know if we kind of see the the human side of it. So it's been really eye opening today mm -hmm. to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, but our last speaker, can we get a round of applause for Anna Harley? Please, thank you.